Okay, good morning. Uh, Thursday morning of a summer trading session. Everybody's talking about financials. Uh, the market is down. The futures are trading 1265 here, down nine here pre-market on the, on the ES. More importantly, I haven't really heard anybody talk about this, but oil is up uh, three and a half, three and a quarter percent, uh, 3.7 bucks, trading 119.30. Again, we talked about this uh, last week. Oil was getting oversold down there at 112. We felt it. We said it. We got long some of the names and uh, are benefiting the oil move up now. So you've got oil moving up. You've got uh, pressure from the financials. Uh, Ten-year rate this morning is three spot seven nine five. Again, this is not uh, at all coinciding with the dollar move up. So you. You've actually got the dollar finally pulling off a little bit today now that oil is going up. So oil is uh, jerking around uh, the dollar more than interest rates. Uh, there should be, uh, again, a, um, a relationship, a direct correlation between oil and uh, tenure, or excuse me, tenure rates and um, the dollar. And uh, that, that relationship is not there right now. They're, they're not moving together. As a matter of fact, we've had uh, the dollar going up as interest rates have been selling off. So, uh, you know, as interest rates have gone lower, you've got the dollar going higher, and that can't stay like that forever. There's a direct relationship. They have to move together. Uh, we've proven over time we've never had a time where that hasn't uh, been able to do that. So keep that in mind. Um, as far as uh, specific names today, I Again, I'm taking it pretty easy to, today. Tomorrow, I'm only working half day. And then um, next week, you can pretty much uh, you know, write it off. Unless there's some big news, unless the Fed is going to come out and bail out uh, Fannie and Freddie next week, I don't expect, expect much to be uh, happening except uh, continue to push down. Once they get this all over, maybe after uh, Labor Day, and they decide who they're going to bail out, figure it out, uh, they may uh, be able to uh, get get the thing uh, off the mat again here. But I think it'll be a short-term mat again. We've got an election year. We've got a lot of things going on. I do think we're going to get another bounce. But, uh, again, we're not that oversold. We're not overbought. We're just right smack in the middle right now. I still do think we will see new lows. I don't know if it'll be this fall or the next spring, but uh, we do have some things happening. Again, uh, Fannie and Freddie are both down about 10% here pre-market. You've got uh, other uh, mortgage companies, RDN down 12% here pre-market, uh, FMD down 8, ABK down 7.5, Lehman down 5%. This is all pre-market here. You've got uh, disappointing earnings from JDSU. They're down 12%, so much for the tech. Um, you've got Salesforce.com uh, after their earnings. Uh, they missed slightly. They're down 10% this morning. That's CRM. So you, th this is what uh, I see moving so far this morning. Uh, we're uh, two minutes from the bell opening, and again, uh, Washington Mutual down 5%, MBIA down 4%. So again, the financials, Capital One, all getting whacked around, and I think this is going to continue until we get a true capitulation and washout in these sectors. We've got to, we've got to bury these banks. Uh, airlines are done big again. We talked about this yesterday. Again, airlines are done. That, that, that little BS run to get the airlines going uh, is over and uh, they're spending back over. So we'll uh, gonna watch this half hour open, see how high, we, high and low we go. Again, the low this morning, 1263.50, not a new low. And uh, the pivot, 1269, 1260 is your S1, and 1276, 77 is your S, or your R1. So again, I'd probably be a buyer at 1271 today. Otherwise, uh, I'm probably going to be uh, selling that uh, 1269 on the pivot and uh, watching where this market goes. Have a great morning, and uh, we'll be back soon.